Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's a special today. edition of your Weather Extreme video for this Sunday, April the 12th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. A lot to unpack on this Easter Sunday uh, with a significant severe weather outbreak expected across the southern United States. Let's start with what's going on out there right now. Here at 534 this morning, showing a, a few showers moving across the northern half of Alabama. No lightning there. Uh, no instability associated with this precipitation, which is associated with an upper-level disturbance, which is passing just to our northwest. Temperatures across the state of Alabama now mainly in the 50s over the northern two-thirds of the state. Now, back in Mississippi, those showers do have some lightning with them. Uh, more, as you can see, temperatures warmer back to the southwest. I think that's the beginning of the warm front moving to the north. As you can see, go back further to the west in Texas. You see um, extensive showers and thunderstorms, some severe weather warnings there. There is a, uh, a severe thunderstorm warning there uh, south of Dallas-Fort Worth area, even a tornado warning there northwest of Austin, and that portends weather that is coming to Alabama. Now, that was looking at uh, precipitation with temperatures. Here's dew points. You can see across Alabama, those dew points still in the 40s. Not conducive for severe weather, obviously. The fuel is just not there. But you don't have to go very far back to the southwest in Louisiana to find dew points in the 70s. And that air will be evicted into Alabama later today. The Storm Prediction Center has, as they have maintained for the past three days, uh, continued to outlook much of Alabama, Louisiana, southeastern Arkansas, Mississippi, now into western Georgia in a moderate risk. That's a four out of five on their category scale. Uh, next to the highest um, uh, as, as they go, indicating a significant high-impact severe weather event is expected. As you can see, all of Alabama is now in at least a slight risk, and most of the state, 99% of it, is in an enhanced risk. So uh, don't get too caught up on whether your community is in the red or the orange or the yellow because it doesn't matter. All of Alabama is in a position today and tonight from about 1 p.m. through about 2 a.m. in the morning to see uh, severe weather, including all modes, damaging winds, large hail, and tornadoes, including the possibility of uh, strong tornadoes that could be long tracked. Now, that's not saying that we're going to absolutely have that. There are some potentially limiting factors, but um, all of the signals are there uh, that this could happen. Now, this is Vorticity this morning, and I show this, not a, not a map we normally show, but it uh, indicates areas of spin in the atmosphere, and it tells us why the um, showers are showing up this morning. You see those... Um, uh, areas of uh, brighter colors, yellows and reds, now showing up over uh, eastern Arkansas, uh, over into eastern uh, or into central Tennessee, even down into northwestern Alabama. That's what's causing those showers this morning. Look back to the southwest. You see that trough there, south of the Four Corners area, dipping into Mexico, um, and you, that trough will uh, take on more of a negative tilt, uh, more of a northwest to southeast axis during the day today. That uh, indicates a powerful trough. Uh, it translates a lot of energy, and you see that is moving into northwestern Arkansas by 7 p.m. tonight. That negatively tilted trough will be producing a lot of lift in front of it, and uh, that will produce uh, that will set the stage for uh, a significant round of severe thunderstorms tonight. We'll start out at 10 a.m. That uh, first round of showers. This is the H triple R mesoscale model showing those showers lifting into Tennessee. You see showers continuing to mass over central Mississippi as that warm front gains momentum and begins to move to the north. The storms in Texas moving uh, to the northeast into eastern Texas, getting ready to move into southeastern or southwestern Arkansas and northwestern, uh, uh, northwestern Louisiana there. They'll continue to do that during the day. And that, uh, that impetus will be our main disturbance for later today. Now, here is at noon, or really 1 o'clock today, uh, on the HRRR, showing that warm front lifting into um, northern Alabama. Showers and thunderstorms likely along it. It looked for a while overnight that we might not see much precipitation along the front, but I think it's likely that we will. Now, 
I think that there's going to be a threat of a tornado uh, along that retreating uh, warm front. By 4 o'clock, um, and, and especially on the back side of it, the air mass over Alabama will be quite warm and humid. Now, I've chosen a, a sounding off the HRRR in Lamar County about 4 o'clock, showing a, a temperature of 77 over a dew point of 70. Look at that long curved photograph there. Very indicative of a tornado uh, potential. Uh, Cape values uh, over 2,500. Helicity values well into over 500. Significant tornado parameters near a supercell would be um, really very high. And so this yields uh, a, a very classic tornado sounding. So if we were to get, uh, you know, an isolated discrete cell in western Alabama, starting around 1 o'clock this afternoon, along or behind that warm front, it's going to have the potential to produce a tornado. This is borne out by the significant tornado parameter off the H triple R at 4 o'clock, showing a widespread area over western Alabama near that warm front back into uh, central Mississippi where um, uh, strong tornadoes could be developing. Uh, that is uh, a value that we watch when it gets over 1 or 2, and these values are approaching 8 and 10. And uh, near the bigger, stronger storms, it could be even higher. Look at these dew points at 7 o'clock. Columbus, Mississippi, 71. Meridian, 71. Hattiesburg, 73. Very warm, very rich air will be in place, and that will be the fuel for more showers and thunderstorms. Uh, the air mass over Alabama uh, behind that warm front, frankly, may be fairly capped, which would be good news in one way. It would um, preclude the development of showers and thunderstorms for a time. But um, if you followed you know, these discussions very long or you've studied severe weather very closely, a capped atmosphere is one that's sort of like a boiling pot that has a lid on it. It eventually will boil over uh, if the conditions are right. And with a strong cold front coming in from the west, that could be the spark that makes it happen. Uh, any passing disturbance you saw on the vorticity chart, there were lots of disturbances out there. Any of those can cause lift. The heating of the day, if we reach the convective temperature, which will be somewhere in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees over western Alabama this afternoon, uh, a thunderstorm updraft could form. Lapse rates will be you know, fairly good this afternoon, and a, a decent thunderstorm could form if it can overcome the cap. But this is 7 o'clock, shortly, uh, uh, shortly after dark tonight, or getting toward dark. Um, we see showers and thunderstorms really beginning to develop there, just west of the Tuscaloosa-Birmingham corridor, and I think those thunderstorms are going to be quite worrisome. This is the uh, significant tornado parameter at 7 o'clock. looks like a bucket of spilled paint, as James says. But there over western Alabama, those values still approaching 10. West uh, and northwest of I-59, they're all significant. They're well over 2 over most of the state. So picking a, a sounding there north of Tuscaloosa at 7 o'clock, it still looks very dangerous. Another long curved photograph. Uh, Cape values uh, just under 2,000. Uh, helicity values still above 400. Uh, you know, significant tornado parameter values near a supercell would be in the double digits. So uh, if we have, uh, you know, a storm that develops somewhere over western Alabama during that time, it's going to have a high potential to produce a strong tornado. So if you're in west Alabama, you're going to want to be paying a lot of attention to that. Now, by 11 o'clock, uh, the HRRR... Uh, depicts two lines of thunderstorms over Alabama, one east of Birmingham, one still to the west with that main dry line. Both of these will have the potential to produce severe weather. The, uh, the stronger potential would be with that western line, but, but again, both systems uh, at that time would have the potential for large hail, damaging winds, and uh, even tornadoes, and we still would be watching those. Now, picking a sounding, you know, out of Shelby County, just representatively, uh, out of central Alabama, this uh, you know shows that any storm then could still have the potential to produce a strong tornado, even as late as 11 p.m. tonight. You know, Cape values are still fairly high, a um, thousand to fifteen hundred joules. Helicity values beginning to come down. Uh, those photographs a little bit um, a little bit shorter than they are, but they're still very curved, and uh, the potential there uh, to produce still. 
a strong tornado. So as that main line moves on into, um, you know, the I-65 corridor around midnight, um, the significant tornado parameter coming down, but still there. Uh, the storm's reaching the Birmingham area around midnight, pushing on uh, out of East Alabama by 2 a.m. Now, re- pulling all this back together, because that's a whole lot of discussion there, uh, but the timing aspect today will be generally 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. over western Alabama, um, around 1 p.m. to 1 a.m. for uh, areas from, you know, Greenville to Montgomery to Birmingham up to uh, Talladega, Gadsden, uh, on up to Fort Payne. For areas east of that, uh, you know, from Heflin uh, down to, to Auburn and Troy, it will be uh, 2 p.m. to 2 a.m., the greatest threat uh for you know especially strong and long track tornadoes really large hail uh very damaging winds going to be in that uh, red shaded area the moderate risk uh but all of the state um is in uh, a high impact severe weather risk for today now's the time to review your severe weather safety plan have a, a r- multiple reliable ways to get warnings that's very important Uh, A good NOAA weather radio that's programmed properly with fresh batteries is very, very important. Your favorite app, whatever way you get warnings is, you know, another good way. But remember that weather radio can't be beat uh, for delivering those reliable warnings. You'll want to know where you're going to be and what your safe place is going to be if a tornado warning is issued for your location. Now, if you're in a mobile home or a manufactured home, you got to think ahead because you can't be there. Um, You've got to leave and go to a substantial structure before the tornado warning is issued for your location. Um, If you're not, you know, if you're on the second floor of an apartment, you got to know where you're going to go. You want to be in the lowest portion of whatever substantial building or home, site-built home that you're in, uh, in an interior room or hallway, a closet, basement is best, but if one's not as uh, not available, put as many walls between you and the outside as you can. You know the drill for the most part. Most of you do, but some of you may not. Um, go to our uh, Alabama WX page. The top, there's severe weather safety tips in the top menu. Click on that. Lots of reading there. Have your emergency kit. Hard soled shoes are very important. Helmets for everybody. They save lives. Uh, have an air horn if you have it. A whistle, even, so you could signal rescuers if something were to happen. Be under something sturdy. You know, if the, if the tornado were to, you know, collapse your home or the building that you're in, that would help you. And, you know, most tornadoes are survivable, um, you know, when you're following these safety tips. So we don't say all these things to panic you. We say them to help you prepare. And especially now in this time of coronavirus, it's really important that you think ahead. If you are relying on a community shelter today, check to make sure that it will be open. Um, and, and it will be different. Um, you, may, you may be asked to wear a mask the entire time. You, may, you will certainly be asked to social distance. And wherever you are, you have to maintain that social distancing. But the Alabama Department of Emergency Management, the Alabama Department of Health, urges you to protect yourself against the tornado first, the coronavirus second. So on this Easter Sunday, um, our thoughts and prayers are with each and every one of you as you prepare for this event. Remain calm. Tell all your friends. Let them know what's going on in case they're not paying attention to the weather. Uh, Lots of people are stressed and worried at this time. Don't panic. Just uh, go through the day. We'll be with you all through the day on the Alabama WX blog on ABC 3340 with the very latest warnings uh, throughout the event. So until next Sunday when I get to do this video with you again, I'll tell you to keep an eye to the sky because, well, you may not have something fun to look at today, but by tomorrow you'll have much improving conditions. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.